Welcome to part two of our Central American journey. We are still in Liberia. We just checked out of our hostel. This is actually the place, exactly the place where part one started. Uh, Full circle. From the bus stop moment. The bus stop that took us from the airport dropped us off here. This is where uh, Adam bought his... Uh, empanada. 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 This is where we bought our tickets to... Uh, Cañas. Cañas. We went to Tilaran and then we got screwed because there were no buses. So, yeah, so we're taking a bus. The bus to, uh, parted to Panama, so then there were two. It's the movie one. Oh, yeah. Got this a, is the next episode. They don't know. Why the did they watch episode. only the beginning of the last one? So it's just the two of us so heading first, to Nicaragua. First problem We're done with Costa Rica. The cost of a ticket is $4. We have this crypt tenor. And I'm curious if the $2 we get back will be in colonists. It's strange because usually when you pay them in dollars, they give you the change in colonists. But regardless, we don't want colonists anymore because we're leaving. We're about halfway from Liberia to the border with Nicaragua. We have like 45 minutes left. And our lovely little bus broke down. Much because it smells like coolant, so it probably overheated and there's no coolant left. If I understood the guy correctly, which I probably didn't, there's supposed to be a bus coming in either 2 or 20 minutes. We wait in the scorching sun. the border it seems like we've already left Costa Rica we got our exit stamp and we paid eight dollars each to exit the country that's their like exit fee or whatever and now we have to make it to the Nicaragua side and supposedly pay I think twelve dollars or something to get into the country we are about a mere step away from crossing into our second Central American country that right there is the official boarding crossing into Nicaragua. We made it into Nicaragua. We've crossed the border. We got our stamps, paid our 13 USD entrance fees. We found our little bus. It's a converted school bus that's taking us to Rivas. We have to get off a little bit early and take another one to San Juan del Sur. We uh, exchanged some dollars for Cordobas. We got a pretty good deal actually. Zapatos de chile. Zapatos de chile. Ah, I need zapatos de chile. Could I? Zapatos de chile. Can I give you the one? Zapatos de chile. So we've been told that Nicaragua is a lot cheaper than Costa Rica. And to put this into perspective, for this bus, uh, taking us approximately maybe half an hour or something, we paid 80 cents each, 80 American cents each. Look how sick the bus is. And for most of the other buses, we paid like $4, $5. Look at this. It's a retired school bus. They even have the old uh, rule book. They're called chicken buses. Yeah, so rule number one, the driver is full, in full charge of the bus and the students at all times. While waiting for the bus, pupils should not stand in the play or play. First official day here in Nicaragua, we decided to rent some. Uh, Little scooters for 20 US dollars a day. It's a pretty great price. And now we're just touring up the uh, north coast here of Nicaragua. This is the first beach we stopped at, Playa Maderas. It's pretty big waves here. A couple of surfers. Water's stunning, nice and warm and very clear. Swell time. Oh, there's the shoes for you. Look at that, just as I was filming. Nice, just as it came. So we took our little scooters for a spin to the local fish market and we bought some ceviche. 100 cordobas, which is about $3 for half a pound of ceviche. In Costa Rica, I think we paid like six bucks or something for them. And they weren't fantastic. Good, but nothing special. Ceviche are all done. We took a little trip to Peñas Rojas, I think the beach is called. There's a nice little rock over there. It's a beautiful drive. We go through like a little, little forest and these little dirt roads. We saw some horses. Got a little bit of my stogie left from yesterday. Nice little beer. All right, that's the second swim of the day completed. We're gonna cruise down a little bit more uh, south to El Cuco, apparently a world famous beach. And then before uh, heading back north to the Curvas uh, Pirat. So the statue of, of, of the Christ for the sunset. Pretty beautiful. 
Machi has a rock to share with you guys. A little nice rock. I thought this is the second one. It was nice and clean before Mateus whipped it on my hand. That sack. Ah. But honestly, this is our uh, really our first day in Nicaragua. And I think it's beat out Costa Rica by far. Like it's it's cheaper. The people seem to be a lot nicer. They're not trying to like scam you. They're not trying to gringo you as uh, they call it. So try to get as much money out of you because you're a tourist. Um, I don't know, just like the vibe, the, the feel is, is better than Costa Rica. Costa Rica is beautiful, like don't get me wrong. But um, I don't know, I like it here a lot more. I feel, I feel better, I feel more at home, I think, here in Nicaragua. Which is weird, I didn't expect that because before coming here, everyone said it's uh, not really a safe place to go. You gotta be careful, maybe it's not the best uh, idea, decision, but so far it's been amazing. Well, I'm waiting for uh, Magic to get ready. I'll show you these little bikes we rented. So they're scooters, they're automatic. We paid 20 American dollars for 24 hours, plus gas, because we gotta refer re uh, return them full. And they're pretty great, like they're a year old. They are these little Honda Navi. They're small, but they're zippy. Like they're very easy and comfortable to ride. Mine's got 9,402 kilometers. They're great. 20 bucks a day. Really can't complain. They're super fun. We made it to our last beach of the day, La Aronso. There's a couple of like little uh, bar shacks over there, but it's all overpriced. Uh, the key to know if you're getting overpriced food is if they tell you the price is in US dollars. If it's in US dollars, that means the same for tourists. And no good. You gotta find prices in Nicaragua and Cordoba. 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 I actually made a nice for uh, observation. There's mainly women here on this beach, surfing and swimming. Now our next stop is Jesus Christ. Imagine living over there in that villa by some millionaires. Up we go. What's our heading? Jesus Christ. Alrighty, so we made it to the final destination, which is this beautiful statue of Jesus Christ overlooking the little bay here, looking over San Juan del Sur, Nicaragua. Okay guys, so we have left San Juan del Sur. We are making our way up to Ometepe Island, which is a big island on a lake. It's a volcanic island with two volcanoes. Excuse me, excuse me, sir. Excuse me. It's not up. We're actually going just uh, east. east. But sir. it feels up because we were at the ocean. People. Well, we're gonna go up afterwards. So how about you tell them exactly where we're going? It's the whole plan of the trip. Regardless, go we... up and visit every country in Central America. Championship, there was a power. Idiot. So, so we I took got... one chicken bus to Rivas. And then from we bus, we were waiting for another bus. It's kind of hard to say if it's gonna if it's gonna come or not because we're just standing on the side of the street. Very uh, helpful young lad, practicing his English, helped us out because uh, without him, we would probably have been lured by some taxi drivers who were trying to scam us and make us pay more, which is dumb. Well, yeah, we got one more bus left, and we got a ferry to catch, make it to Ometepe, and then from there, it's about a 40-minute drive to where we're staying. So maybe we'll rent a scooter again if the budget allows. We waited for over an hour, and the bus did not end up coming, so we were forced to take a taxi. We paid five dollars together for the taxi, which is a little bit more than I wanted to pay, but it's fine, I suppose. We made it to the ferry terminal, bought our ferry tickets. We were looking at uh, renting out some bikes, but I think we'll do that on the island. Might be cheaper there. There you can see the island that we're going to. Yeah. 
Welcome to my creep, where well, safety is our number one priority. As you can tell, find it. It's enough. It's enough, you say. It's like that. Our journey on the volcanic island of Ometepe is coming to an end. We're uh, gonna scooter back down to the main town and catch the ferry back to the mainland. From there, we're going to Granada, the beautiful colonial town. That's the little hut we've been staying in for the last three nights. Very interesting place. It's like a permaculture farm, this uh, like hostel. Bit of a hike to get here. It's like in the middle of a forest up a hill. And there's like a bunch of hippies here. All the food's vegan. Like they do some sort of like ceremonies and shit. It's cool. It's kind of cool. Like they, they grow their own uh, coffee, tobacco, and like some herbs or whatever. So most of the things you eat at the restaurant is uh, grown here. But other than that, weird vibes. But it's quite beautiful. And I am glad that we chose to stay here and not somewhere else. And we got a sneaker. So we made it to Granada, which is our last destination here in Nicaragua. It's an old colonial town, it used to be Nicaragua's capital. And it is very beautiful here, it's quite nice, it's very calm. There's not that many people on the streets, not a lot of tourists, but it's very nice. The architecture is cool, like there's a lot of kind of, I would say, Spanish influenced buildings, a lot of uh, colorful things going on. We're just by the cathedral, which is very nice, but we couldn't get in. So hopefully, some other day. Just about to leave this beautiful, colorful city of Granada. We're waiting for a shuttle that's gonna take us to the Treehouse Hostel, which is a hostel in the middle of the jungle. Apparently, it's like a 20 minute trek to get up to the hostel. It's like world famous. Like everybody that I know that went to Nicaragua has recommended it. Recommended it. All the websites, all the like travel blogs say that it is a must. So we're going there for a night. We'll check it out. And then tomorrow we're flying out to the next country, to El Salvador, which will be our third uh, country on this trip and we are oh, how many days are we we're just about we're just about halfway through the trip We have three so, weeks uh, left tomorrow. We're sitting right now in this little, little Church square. I really like this town. The second biggest city yeah, in Nicaragua. It's the former capital It used to be the conservative stronghold during the Civil War Whereas Leon, which is a bit uh, west of Granada was the revolutionary socialist kind of stronghold I did a little bit of reading yesterday. Pueblos are more expensive, but all in all it's definitely cheaper I think it's, I definitely, I don't know if I feel safer or just as safe, but it definitely, it's definitely safe. Like there's very little police on the streets, whereas in Costa Rica there was quite a bit, especially in, uh, in San Jose. I mean, yesterday we went out on, uh, went out to get food and it was late, it was already getting dark. And uh, I still felt safe. Still yeah, like everywhere I read, it's a one thing you gotta be certain of is to not go out at night in Nicaragua. And a buddy of mine that I work with said the same thing, because it's quite dangerous, but I, Really didn't feel anything at all. Like, people was there don't a really... recommendation? I didn't even know. You didn't tell me. Yeah, it said uh, my life was on the line. You didn't tell. Me. Like the government of Canada site just says to like avoid certain areas and don't go out past uh, sunset. Yeah, but also there are a bunch of pansies. So. Yeah, it's all a sham. Nicaragua is great. Highly recommend. So we just spent a night here at the Treehouse Hostel uh, in Nicaragua. It's pretty cool. It sits on like the side of this volcano and it's all like up in the trees. It takes like a couple minutes to hike up. Uh, these are the little dormitories we stepped in. We have a little pal that uh, came in the morning and woke us up. Yeah, and even though we didn't stay for the the party because we have to fly to El Salvador in a couple of hours. It was definitely worth it. We took part in a chocolate making class yesterday that was free. Pretty cool. We got to eat in the end. And then there was like a, a trivia night with all the people staying here. Me and Machi, we won. Crushed the competition. We won by, by one point. And then we got uh, we got some free brownies and, and uh, a couple shots and some banana bread as the prize. 
uh yeah so we're about to leave here i'll show you the i guess main bit of the the hostel in a second the dormitory is like a little bit lower uh, and then you go up you go up that little like path in the forest there and then there's two like tree houses and then there's the main like thing where they all where the bar is and i guess where they host the parties so this is the, the top portion here the tree house there's like a, a bridge that connects the bar to the other bar i guess and that's one of the tree houses you can stay in and there's another one there and this is the view beautiful view let's see if i can focus more yeah and then behind me is the volcano that we're on this is where they have like the parties and the in the bar and i guess the restaurant or whatever it's just right there and then somewhere down there at the bottom is where the shuttle drops you off it's nice and isolated it's very cool here this morning we were woken up at about like 5 a.m by howler monkeys so many of them are so loud but uh amazing experience and just like that our nicaraguan journey has come to an end after a short 50 minute flight we have landed in el salvador a field in a field in el salvador see you in the next one